and then show and tune harmonics. And then close out of there. And we go up here, top right, fast track calibration. And you should see your skill reacting to the dialog box. And here the uh, device will be uh, calibrating some simple reactions from the client to get a baseline to set the volt voltammetry in the uh, system. And after you've done the calibration you go to so we can see the percentage of whatever lock on with client is 94% which is good. And after that we go to third one down here analysis or test analysis test so we're not going to keep the old report so we're going to close this out and go into the reanalysis here or retest. And then after the test, you'll have a chance to uh, load the re new report. I usually remove this after briefly reviewing it to see if there's anything abnormal. Here we have body voltage is 52, normal is 80 to 100, and so. Uh, I have a hydration of 75%, 80 is normal, oxygenation of 42, uh, 54%, just low because 80 is normal. Major resonant frequency, 4,300. Okay, so anyway, all kinds of stuff to look at here. So we have a lot of things in the red. This is the newest software, and apparently they have a lot of things in the, a lot more things in the matrix here. Uh, that performs, that tests the reaction to your body, so they have a lot more substances. A lot more, a lot more uh, electro, electronic shapes of substances that they test. They're able to test. So, yeah, this is different for everybody. Here we're looking at the bottom of the list. We see a lot of things in the in the red. This is the these are the things that are recently affecting the body. We go to the opposite end of the list. We see that the opposite end of the list shows us some things that have been affecting the body for a long time.
Anyway, what I normally do is I go to information. There we go. I have a small screen on this one. This computer is easy to pack, so it has a smaller screen. I add add top 200 remedies to info report. That's what I usually do. And so also autofocus. This computer only has two gigs of RAM, so I'm going to uh, have to run a little slow on this one until I get it upgraded. So I set the three minute zap, autofocus three minute zap, and then. <sighs> Try this again. Information. Add top 200 in, uh, remedies to. Anyway, if we look up here, we see there's a couple of things that see here in the pink. Um, says like regulatory dysfunction, certain risk, oxygenation transfer. Etc. And the next thing I normally do is go to, well, you want to go to the power system settings, double, I'm going to set it double, and we're going to go activate positive consciousness field, and then scalar boost. This is pretty much standard with most people here. Um, shield from remote interference. And activate quantum indeterminacy, which should be done before the test. And see anything else we want to do here. Let's just explore this a little bit here. Disease, disease dictionary or dis ease dictionary. And let's see what we got. Our feedback device. Activate 3D body viewer. So we should have the body viewer loading up down here. And the body viewer loading up. So what we're going to do is start info exchange, load unconscious choices. This one's coming up, bones and respiratory, right off the bat. Ch uh, chakra, clog. And then what I usually do is, skio, folk. Foci detection automatic. 
So here we're gonna scan with the body viewer. And then it's gonna come up with some subconscious reactivity suggestions. Meanwhile, we're just going to close this down, minimize it, and go back over here to risk profile. Load. So we see up here on the top, it's immune system. We're gonna click on, double click on that. Stress, circulation, hypoadrenia. So it was suggested to me that I only do three, but I, sometimes I do a bunch of them. It depends on how much time I have. And then we just click the button up here retrain or de-stress and you should see the skill reacting to the dialog box and so when if you want to get out of this Just click the red X at the top right hand corner and you're out of there. But I'm not going to go out just yet. What I like to do is, of course, er, go right down the list here basically. Up on the top it says Oriental Herbs. And look for the highest one. 240 antipyretic for fever. 260 blood restores vitality. Okay. So it's going to give me a little electroceutical for that electronic signature of the substance. 250 stomach treats. Uh, or excuse me, um, energizes stomach. Okay, so we got kidney 276. So these are these are oriental herb signatures. They're uh, electroceuticals of the oriental herbs. So anyway, I just go down here, um, test items, make report, close. And so next is minerals. And like I say, I go right down the line and See, here we have 196 is the highest. It's lithium. 196, and I've heard that they have sprayed lithium in the in the geoengineering material sprayed in the jets, so that may be why that's showing up high. Manganese is also showing up high. Potassium. Potassium and calcium. These are, of course, two things that we should keep in balance. Potassium and sodium should be in good balance. Uh, 
Okay, molybdenum, thyroid function. And so, if you click it once, I believe it, well, I'm not sure, if you click it twice, it gives you the electroceutical, pharmaceutical, whatever, electroceutical, electronic voltmetric signature of the substance. It sends it into your body. Okay, when we just close. Okay, the next one I normally do, I, I suggest going down these whole things. Next one I like to do is no homotoxicology. Homotoxicology. And then we just go info, click first. Xenobiotics. And it'll come up with some things that are high, of course. Metabolic error. Uh, amalgam dental comes up high. Mental retention of toxins, stress. So just going to click the T key or the stress reduction button here. And last but not least, this is the therapy page. And you can get to this page through the main front page, scroll down menu. I believe it's top left, scroll down menu on the main page and through the risk profile page. And you'll see up here on the colored it says certain therapies are suggested. Tri-vector DNA is suggested. So we go down here, we go auto tri-vector. And then we just click start. Okay, we got an improvement, excellent box. Cool, anyway. Let's close out of here. It says try vector not complete. Restart. Um, or reschedule. Okay, so I'm going to do this special restart here. and run through that. Okay, so that was quick. I'm gonna close out. Now here's the dental. Uh, we need to start the info exchange. So the dental, uh, the dental is related to the whole parts of the body. There's nothing notice separate from the whole in my theory and so here we have the TMJ I'm going to do see, to do we can load some other information And so what we're going to do is we're going to do the analysis down here and go through the analysis. Okay, I could do the uh, uh, pushes that button here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to search for foci. Uh, 
And then I'm going to go TMJ scan. Total scan. Okay, so the scan comes up with, I believe these, the red circle is the pressure in the head area. 